Hey folks, just getting ready to uh, send off the first batch of fur to NAFA here. And I decided just to do a little bit of footage uh, to answer some questions that I've gotten. I've had a lot of folks ask, uh, both on YouTube and on my forum, uh, several on several occasions, um, because they're interested in stepping into the major markets. Uh, they're a little intimidated by it. they got a lot of questions about it. Um, I can certainly relate. Uh, there was... I dragged my feet for a long time about sending my fur off. Uh, I was always just brought it to a buyer and walked away with a paycheck. Uh, although I wasn't um, very happy with the paycheck on numerous occasions, I still sold my fur. Uh, and then I found out about uh, NAFA and FHA, and I dragged my feet for a while. Uh, I was a little uncomfortable about sending my fur off with somebody that I didn't know and not getting paid right away and not knowing how much I was going to be paid. So I baby stepped my way into the process. Uh, the first year, I think I only sent maybe a third of my fur off and sold two thirds to a buyer. And then on the next year, I sold one third to a buyer. I sent one third to FHA and then one third to NAFA. And then the following year, NAFA got all my fur, and that's the way it's been, and I don't foresee any changes in that. I'll just go through the process here, tell you all about it. Uh, there's really not much to it, and uh, hopefully I'll get all your questions answered for you. Now, the first thing you got to do is have a NAFA account. I set mine up over the phone. Uh, that way they can ship me all my paperwork and shipping bags. You can do it online. Uh, numerous ways that you can set up your account. Once you have your account, they'll send you the bags and tags. They'll send you these nice big bags here to put your fur in. You load them up with your fur. Um, they'll tell you where the pickup depots are. And you bring them and the guy takes them away. It gives you a receipt and your furs are insured from that point on. Now once you're an Alpha member and they pick up your fur and it goes off to auction, once it is sold, they're gonna take an 11% commission. There's gonna be a 9% commission if you are a shipper's counsel, but I'll get into that in a minute. There's another charge for uh, if, if you bring your fur to a pickup depot and then they take it away. Um, there's a small shipping charge. I think it's about five cents per muskrat. Um, 15 cents for a coon, skunk, uh, possums, um, maybe one other species, mink, I think, and then a 20 cent per other species. I don't pay too much attention to it. I have no hurries, no worries. I just give them my fur. It goes off, and when I get a check, I get a check. Fabulous. Now, once that you're a Manafa member, they will send you this paperwork here. Okay, these are for the different auctions here. Now on the paperwork, it's pretty self-explanatory. You simply put the uh, quantity of each species that you are sending them. You put your tra trapping license uh, number on there, your phone number, and you're good to go. Then you hand them that. The pickup guy will tear off a receipt after he signs it, and your furs will be insured from that point on. Now in your packet, you will have a bunch of information, including a list of the pickup depots and the times that they picked the fur up. Uh, and if you have a pickup depot, you can simply bring your fur there, like what I do. And um, on your shipping tags that they send you, you simply just fill this out here. This little panel will go inside your bag, and this one gets zip tied to the outside of the bag. It's that simple, man. So that's really all you have to do. It's as simple as that. If you don't have a pickup depot in your area, you'll have to uh, find some other arrangements to get your fur to them. Uh, there's nothing at all to be intimidated by. And if you um, are a little uncomfortable about it, do like I did. Baby step into the market, send them, you know, half your fur or a third of your batch and uh, see how it goes. Um, so that's about it for that. Very, very simple. When you're putting your furs in your bag, you always want to have all your beavers fur to fur, skin to skin, okay? Now, I try and be a little bit selective, you know, when I'm bagging up my fur. I don't want to have my greasy raccoons. 
uh, mixed in there with the fishers and the fox and stuff like that. You know, you just uh, be a little bit selective about how you're bagging things. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, you know, the first time you do it, you might be a little bit uncomfortable about uh, bringing your fur down and sending it off with somebody you don't know. I can certainly relate. I was the same way. And I dragged my feet for a, a long time before I jumped on the bandwagon with him. But, uh, and like I said, I experimented there. I baby stepped my way into the market. Uh, now I'm just, I'm very pleased with Nafa. They're going to get all my fur from now on. Uh, I like the profit sharing. Now, another thing that's really cool about uh, dealing with Nafa is if you're uh, any good at putting up your fur, you'll get some top lot awards occasionally. Uh, nice little certificate they send you. Um, it's just a nice little pat on the back, you know, a little bit of recognition is a good thing. Uh, I've got quite a few of them. I think I got six or seven last year. Uh, the year before I got five, and the year before I got five, and it's just, it's a nice little bonus. And then uh, when you see Nafa at a, at a rendezvous somewhere, they'll give you a hat and a little pin that says Top Lot Trapper. It's, it's kind of cool, you know? You don't get that from a fur buyer. Now these Top Lot Awards here, uh, just a little certificate, you know, they come in the mail, they're kind of cool. Um, this one here was for beaver. It was a $78 beaver. That was pretty slick. Uh, here was a, a gray fox, uh, 54 bucks. Um, this one here is another beaver at 56 bucks. This is a beaver at 43. Uh, red fox was 62. Here's another red fox at 62. A raccoon, $62 coon, huh? How, you, how can you hate that, huh? $62 raccoon. Ah, I like that stuff. Let's see what else we got. Here's another beaver, 45 bucks, and on and on and on. So, it's a nice little benefit, you know? I like that. And uh, you don't generally get prices like that from a buyer. So again, I've had a lot of people asking questions, inquiring about shipping to NAFA. So I put this little vid together for you all. Hopefully it'll answer your questions for you. Okay, man. Yeah. Now once you're a NAFA member, they will offer a membership to the Wild Fur Shippers Council. It's $100. It's a five-year membership. And... Uh, I dragged my feet for a few years, as well as a lot of my cronies on Swamp Talk. Um, they dragged their feet for a few seasons and didn't join, and then finally joined and kicked themselves because they didn't join earlier, and it was the same way with me. Um, and a, a bunch of guys I know are still dragging their feet about joining the Shippers Council, but I'm certain that they will uh, probably once they watch this video. Now, some of the benefits of being in the Shippers Council is... Uh, well, first off, instead of the 11% commission, you're only going to be uh, deducted a 9% commission. So you're going to have a savings right there. And if you send a lot of fur, chances are you are going to make your membership dues right back to you on the very first sale. Another thing, that freight charge, I said, is when you bring your fur to a pickup depot, they take it away and haul it off to the NAFA facility. Um, that $0.05 cents per rat and $0.15 cents per mink and possum and 20 cents for the other species, um, you will be exempt from that. So you won't have those fees at all. But the best benefit of being in the Shippers Council is you get a 5% profit sharing rebate, which is fabulous. Last year, I got about $300 in profit sharing from NAFA, and this year is going to be about the same. So um, within, by the time I had the second auction, of being in the Shippers Council, I've already made my $100 back. And then, like I said, I've already made about $600 in profit sharing. So um, I think you do the math there, and you're going to find out that uh, it's a very good idea to be part of the Shippers Council. Now, in the, I've heard on several occasions where uh, some trappers have been griping about the 11% commission and then the shipping charges and maybe a CITES charge and things like that. Um, but they're really not taken into consideration um, 
we have a very, very strong fur market right now, and the strength of our fur market is because places like NAFA and FHA spend millions and millions of dollars in promoting the wearing of wild fur. Um, we as trappers, we don't have the uh, facility to run out to Japan and Korea and China and promote wild fur. We don't have the kind of capital to do that, and I don't know any trappers that would do it anyway, even if they did have the money. Um, NAFA spends millions of dollars over there in China and other countries, uh, Japan and Korea, um, promoting wild fur, and it's made a huge impact on the fur market. The fur market we have now is tremendously strong. I've seen uh, uh, ads in uh, magazines for wearing wild fur, they get supermodels wearing wild fur and stuff like that, and that is what pro will propel the uh, call for wild fur. Uh, you get celebrities wearing wild fur, and then everybody wants to wear wild fur, and that's with supply and demand, and then the market is very, very strong. Without organizations like NAFA, who spend millions of dollars in the promotion of wild fur, we wouldn't have the strength in the fur market that we have today. Uh, and people need to take that into consideration. Now, I look at it as paying like a user's fee. I'm a trapper. I, I'm going to require a strong fur market so I can get good prices for my fur. So I don't have a problem with giving a little bit of my catch for the promotion to keep that market strong. And it's much like if you're driving a highway every day and you're paying tolls, those tolls have to maintain that highway. So it's like a user's fee. And I certainly don't have a problem with that. You can't have it both ways, folks, you know. Some guys are griping about the commissions, but then they gripe when the prices are low. Well, you can't really have it both ways. If you want a strong fur market, you want to have that promotion, you want to have a, um, that supply and demand, you want to have that demand out there, then uh, you have to help fuel that fire. And being able to give NAFRA 9% of my cash, it's well worth it. And like I said, being a member of the Shippers Council with the profit sharing, it's a win-win all the way around, folks. So, you know, again, if you have a, a reputable buyer nearby and you're happy with that, fine, stick with that. But I put this little video together for all the folks that have been asking questions. They've uh, had a lot of interest in jumping on the bandwagon with the major fur markets. Been a little bit intimidated by it, you know, um, sending off your... Your uh, catch like that when you put so much into it not knowing how much you're going to be paid or when you're going to be paid is a little bit unsettling in the beginning. But I'm very, very comfortable with them now. As I said, they're going to get all my fur from here on in. I have no hurries, no worries. The fur goes out. It's insured. Everything is good. And I really suggest you give it a try. So I hope I answered all your questions. And uh, happy trapping to you guys.